I never thought it would be me. I never thought this would happen to me. I heard that specifically yesterday and I hear it quite frequently because family members think that they can rely on the goodwill of other family members. Not true. Sometimes you'll have a parent promise something to a child. I'm going to give you the house. I'm going to make sure that you can live here all of your life. I'm going to give you this ring. I'm going to give you this watch, right? Certain declarations, certain statements that are made. I will protect you. It could have been heartfelt at that moment. It could have been intentional. It could have been the thought, but without proper documentation, proper planning, proper forethought, all that goes by the wayside. So I had a couple of uh, prospective client telephone calls yesterday, similar situation. So one was about property, parent died, a second spouse, and what had been intended for the family, whether or not intervening will change some statement or some thought or some proposed plan. And uh, then I had a, a different client call where there were family members, again, it involved the house. Houses are the biggest thing in a state. But this circumstance was an elderly person that has herself, her daughter, and son-in-law her property. How do you make sure you have a joint? How do you make sure that that property goes to the four children that you have? do this with proper documentation? Is it the use of a trust or a will? You have to let me know what you want and what you, what you would like. So in that second example, the homeowner, elderly person that's thinking about a plan is 50% owner with a child, right? Daughter and son-in-law in this example. How do we protect their 50% interest while protecting the mother? We could do it. So it's not even protecting the mother. Certainly is about protection, but it's how does she preserve that legacy, that 50% th for the remaining children? And if she predeceases the daughter, would the inheritance by the other children push the daughter out? Or how do you protect that? Do you cause the daughter to have to buy out the other uh, children? Do you say they can own it, but the sister's allowed to stay there for her whole life? Well, forethought with calm, deliberate pre-planning, we can do it. You tell me what you'd like. I'll go through some permutations with you. We'll have a full discussion. And then we put into place a plan that's, that's right for your family, for what you want to accomplish.